you know, I felt like it was time, like I had to do it. If I'm gonna fail, when's the best time? When I'm really young, right? Baskets. Now the paper. Oh, we gotta wipe that down. My name is Angela Chanel. I am the manager at my family's medical practice. At nighttime, I go to school, and on my spare time, I own Cali Fresh, my food truck. <laughs> From managing a medical office to a food truck, um, I feel exhausted every day. I'm thinking about what I need to do about the truck or like where am I going to go, what do I have left in book, what to fix up on the front. But this is like finally a way for me to share what I like to do. This is your first time driving? Yeah, it's a bit of <laughs> nervous. I wanted a restaurant, like I just knew it. But I've always been afraid to do it. So this year I decided I wasn't gonna be 25 and still have not done it. This is not a good system, we gotta figure out the price. Order up. Randy, you got some ketchup for your fries? Yeah, please. My family's influence is on this truck completely. Uh, it's all Colombian food. The recipes come from different family members, or they're inspired by different family members, like our arepas. My uncle came up with that recipe. People always come by and they're like, what's Colombian food? Like, they don't really know what it is. And so it's kind of cool to share that with them. My family had to have a lot of endurance and they had to have a lot of unity because everyone helps each other in their own goals. Like with my uncle's business, for example, my mom gave him his first loan to start the whole thing. It's everyone like really helps each other achieve what they want. I struggle with fear of failure. It really used to like freeze me up and that's what stopped me from doing this this whole time is the fear. I have to say the first two weeks were really bad. 10 restaurants will open up and nine of them won't be the next year. It's super tough. I'm committing my life right now and that's we're finally profitable. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy about that. Five weeks, it wasn't that bad. It's just like having one or owning it and knowing it's mine and that's, you know, what I created. It's always been like a pull to that and look what it turned into. I counted and so far I've invested 11 grand and that's, we're already profitable so I have that 11 grand back. Felt good, like relief, like thank God, like okay, we're going to be able to be making money. I think we'll be okay. To me, hustling is making it happen, and that's what I've always done, I make it happen. <laughs> 